said that. <laughs> oh, you like it? And any time you can take a shot at TK9. I like that it's taped. <laughs> <laughs> so people won't break it down. Oh, like this? Because I'm good. Flash Pablo, is, our defense is in the Big 12. You have to come to grips with the fact that points are going to be scored in this league. It just seems like everywhere you look, <coughs> offenses are putting up points. Is that kind of the reality for defenses now? Yeah, in the Big 12, offenses are going to put a lot of stress on, your, on defenses in a lot of different ways. Um, we just have to limit the, the amount of yards that we give up and just play our best game. Do you have, within the room, the defense's room, do you have some different measures for defense's success that you've started to look at? Or, I mean, I know a win is the ultimate one, but what are you guys looking at when it comes to that stuff? Um, we're looking at just giving up the fewest amount of passing and rushing yards, you know. We don't want to give up a lot of big plays, and we want to make the, the offenses have to work for everything they get. You guys have a lot of young players now on the defensive side of the ball, just with the injuries that you've had. How does that kind of change uh, what you can do on the field and how you guys have to communicate? Um, it doesn't change much. Uh, the young guys came in on Saturday and they were ready. They were, they were prepared. We, they, they communicated as well as the starters did. Um, they came in there and did, they did a great job. It, it, went, it went as usual. Settle them down at all if, if they miss a play or, or if they get confused at all. Is there any of that happening? I mean, well, I feel like that 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 happens like even with me still. You know, like when you know when there's frustration out there, it's always cool to have your teammate just you know come up to you and say it's okay, next play, next play. You know. Is it tough to avoid an emotional letdown after a game like Saturday? <laughs> you said, is it tough? Yeah. To be fired up once again when there is so much. State last Saturday going into Texas. Uh, I don't. I don't think it's tough at all. We we always come ready to play. We love we love what we do. And we love being around each other. We love playing for each other. So, so we're just we're just as ready as we were last week that, uh, as we will be next week. Has there been any mention to you guys yet about the fact that K State's coming here and won the last two times they've played here? Um, we definitely respect K State's program. They're they're a really good, smart, well coached football team. Um, but we're just going to prepare for them like we do every other team. Uh, but what do you remember uh, about between losing to Texas last year and beating Kansas State 55 9 <laughs> last year? What do you remember about that week, that week of preparation? Or I know there was that crazy trip to the airport uh, on uh, whatever it was Friday, I guess. Um, I remember we, we practiced really well. We, we, we respected uh, Coach Snyder. He he he's a really good coach. Um, so we we tried to like be re very detailed in our practice. Um, the, it was a good win for us. Uh, they're, but they're a good team. What do you remember about the airport incident? <laughs> uh, I remember. Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know if Tiff watches this, but <laughs> there was a, a lot of junk food. <laughs> and that's bad. Um. I, it wasn't bad for me. What was your junk food choice? Um, I, I had some some Chick Fil A, some Burger King, had some chicken tenders from I, I forgot where, but I, and, a, and a little pizza too. I had a little bit of everything. Are you have you seen a difference in Emmanuel Beal over the past couple of weeks at all? If so, how? Yeah, definitely. He's playing with so much confidence. He, we call him the headhunter because he. He's, He's always flying in there. He's down. He's a downhill linebacker, and he he plays bigger than what he is, you know. And we're seeing it every week. He's just playing faster and faster. Yeah. How would you just kind of sum up his play style? It's kind of a, a smaller linebacker who seems to really cover the field well. Uh, how would I sum it up? Um, it's just he's a headhunter. Is there any point uh, in that game the other day where guys are getting injured and? Sort of adding to an already long list of injuries, where you looked around and said, "You know, what in the world's going on here?" Um, yeah, the injuries are. Well, I, I'm just really, I'm really like just sad for the people who can't play, you know, because like I know how much it means to them. But uh, we we're gonna go in with, with who we have, you know. We're, we we're. we're at OU, you know. Our, our saying is we're too deep, so the next it's the next man up.
You guys have had a lot of concussions this year. Does it feel like an abnormal amount at this point? Is it, how, how are you guys kind of handling that? Oh, I mean, we don't think of it as abnormal. Abnormal. We know it comes with the game of football. You know, it's a physical game. Um, we know it's unfortunate, and I'm, I'm really, I'm really sorry that that happened to a lot of the guys. You know, but I'm just hoping for speedy recovery for them. Have you had a concussion before? Like before, ever? Yeah. Oh yeah, I've had one. That was like three years ago. What was it? What was your experience with it? Did you know immediately that? Yeah, you I knew immediately when I, when I had a concussion. What were some of your symptoms? Uh, sensitivity to light. My head was hurting a little bit, but that was, that was my freshman year when I got here. And how long did it take you to recover from that? It took me about two weeks. Let's hear Manuel real quick. Was there something you did to get that nickname, or kind of how did it first come up? Um. He did a lot to get the nickname. <laughs> I mean, I practice like, like if you if you watch one of our practices, he's flying around, he's coming, he's he's really thumping people in the hole. You know, he's not scared of anything. He plays like he's 240 pounds. Like, he just he's not afraid of anything. He's always coming to come like kill something. Yeah. Do you remember who, who first gave him the nickname or like that? Um, sort of just stuck. Daniel Provo. Thanks so much. Good job, Bobo. Thanks. Right.